Hello, this is permutation and combination lesson 3. In this, I will discuss combination concept. As the chapter name is permutation and combination, so let us discuss what is combination. When I say the word combination, it means that selection only. You have to only select, not arrange. For example, in how many ways I can select in how many ways I can select two letters out of four letters A, B, C and D. I only need to select not arrange. I can select A, B, A and C, A and D, B and C b and d and c and d here are only six possible ways six ways i can select two letters out of four different letters these are different letters now this i don't i have done manually but every time we can't do manually because if i need to select 10 letters out of 15 uh, i can't count ma manually so what's the way the way is combination the formula is like this here formula would be what let me just explain if you want to select if you want to select r things out of n different things the different word is very important if you want to select r things out of n different things then the formula is that is combination formula n c r R, let me take the capital this is R if you want to select R things out of n different things the formula is n c r this says that n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial this is the basic formula so in our case what would the formula would be in our case the answer should be same we had four letters four different letters very important and I need to select two letters so formula would be 4C2 in our case if I need to select two letters out of four letters the formula will be 4C2 that is 4 factorial upon 4 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial this will be equals to 24 4 minus 2 factorial is 2 factorial that is 2 into 2 so answer is 6 this we have done with the formula and that we will apply for the all future questions so you have to if you have to select r things out of n different things only select then the formula will be n c r and this formula is only applicable when you have to select from different things let me just explain you formula only applicable formula ncr this formula ncr only applicable when n different things are there for example otherwise it's not applicable for example uh, if i say uh, t c p q these are the four letters I need oh let's say T C P Q R. These are five letters. I need to select two letters out of these five. So formula will be five C two. I need to select two letters out of five. Formula will be five C two. But if I need to select two letters out of these, select two letters out of this. The formula will not be five C. Two, as they are not distinct or different things so very important for this we have we will have a separate lesson where I will cover how to select uh, the R things when the N things are not different but in the meanwhile uh, in this lesson we will only discuss when the N things are different so out of different N things you need to select R things so formula is NCR very important thing to understand in the previous case was that as I have mentioned the previous case in this case 
एन सी आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट यूर आर यूर आर शुड बी दिस दिस कैपिटल आर दिस राइटिंग दिस आर विल लेस देन इक्वल्स टू एन आर मस्ट बी लेस देन इक्वल्स टू एन एंड ग्रेटर देन जीरो आर मस्ट बी ग्रेटर आर विल बी डेफिनेटली ए पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इट मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड लेस देन इक्वल्स टू एन now let's discuss how we can solve the base question based on combination uh, in a faster manner to solve the question on combination in a faster manner we must know some concept let me discuss you uh, first of all you must know that zero factorial is 1 1 factorial is also 1 2 factorial is 2 this must be very fast 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 6 4 factorial is 24 4 3 2 1 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 120 6 factorial is 720 and 7 factorial is 5040 up uh, this must you must know 0 factorial 1 factorial up to 7 factorial now nc0 and ncn is always equals to 1 this is by that formula but you must know directly Uh, don't need to solve uh, open the formula and then calculate the value for example 8c0 as well as 8c8 its value will be equals to 1 if you open the formula it will be this value will be 1 nc1 and ncn minus 1 both are equals to n for example 9c1 And nine c nine my nine and my nine minus one eight. This will also be equals to nine. Very important. N c one n c n minus one. This is equals to n. This formula you must know. You must understand directly. Whenever n c nine c eight is there, you your answer would twelve c eleven. What your answer would be? It would be twelve. So you must know. N C N minus one or N C one. This value will be equals to N. N C two. This is very important. This is equals to N into N minus one by two. This is the most used one. N C two. You directly must know this is equals to N into N minus one by two. For example, eight C two. You need to select two things out of eight different things. Then this formula will be applied. If you have to select two things out of n different things. N C two. This equals to n into n minus one by two. So eight C two would be how much? Eight into seven by two. That is twenty eight. Twelve C two would be how much? Twelve into eleven by two. That is sixty six. So very important. N C two is equals to n into n minus one by two. Next is even more important. N C R is always equals to N C n minus R. For example. 5c2, where this r is 2, n is 5. It's always equals to 5c n minus r. What was n? N was 5. What was r? R was 2. So 5 minus 2. This equals to 3. So 5c2 will always be equals to 5c3. Better way to understand is that this 2 plus 3 will make the number n. Five. For example, if I say twelve C seven, twelve C seven, it means if I need to select seven things out of twelve different things, this will will be equal to twelve C twelve minus seven five twelve C five. Now you can always see that seven plus five, the seven plus five will make the number twelve. So if somebody says you N C eight. Is equals to n c eleven. If these two are true, what will the value of n? You will simply say that is eight plus eleven nineteen. Whenever n is nineteen, then only you can say that nineteen c eight will definitely be equals to nineteen c eleven. Very important concept. N c r is always equals to n c n minus r. Let me show you how the why these two are equal. I told you that n c r is always equals to n c n minus r. How so? If I say five c two, this is equals to five c three. Why so? Because this is five factorial upon five minus two factorial into two factorial. This is equals to five factorial. 
फाइव माइनस थ्री फैक्टोरियल इंटू थ्री फैक्टोरियल कहने से दिस इक्वल टू फाइव फैक्टोरियल अपॉन थ्री फैक्टोरियल इंटू टू फैक्टोरियल दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव फैक्टोरियल इंटू टू फैक्टोरियल इंटू थ्री फैक्टोरियल नो यू कैन सी दैट लेफ्ट साइड इज इक्व टू राइट साइड दैट्स वाई दिस फॉर्मला इज देयर एन सी आर इज इक्व टू एन सी एन माइनस आर नेक्स्ट इज एन सी आर विल बी मैक्सिमम वेन इट वैल्यू विल बी मैक्सिमम टू केसेज विल बी देयर इफ एन इज इवन इफ एन इज इवन यू कैन सी दैट एन सी आर इज मैक्सिमम वेन आर इज इक्व टू एन बाय टू हाफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ एन इज ए लेट से यू कैन सी दैट आई एम सोल्विंग हेयर If n is let's say twelve, then how many cases we can form? We can form twelve c zero, twelve c one, up to in between twelve c seven will be there. Then maximum or uh, we can go till twelve c twelve. So thirteen ways, thirteen combination I can form with the help of twelve. I can it could be twelve c zero, twelve c one, up to twelve c twelve. Now which number will be maximum? In exam you. Will not calculate each and everything. Then find the which of the them will be the maximum value. I am telling you, whenever n is even, n C R will be maximum. R is n by two. So when R is twelve by two, that is six. Then the maximum value will come. So it means that twelve C six will be the maximum out of all these things. This will be the maximum out of all these things. Twelve C zero, twelve C one, twelve C seven, up to twelve C twelve. The maximum would be twelve c six. If n is odd, if n is odd, then you can say that n c r is maximum when r is equal to n minus one by two or n plus one by two. Answer will be same. For example, n is let's say seven. Uh, so maximum would be When r is seven minus one by two or seven plus one by two, that is three or four. So with n seven, how many we can form? Seven c zero, seven c one, seven c two, seven c three, seven c four, seven c five, seven c six, and seven c seven. This seven eight eight combination we can form. But which of them will be maximum? This is seven C one. Maximum would be out of these. Maximum would be seven C three or seven C four. Both are equal because N C R. This is N C R is equals to N C N minus R. If you are assuming that R is three, then seven C three and seven C four both are equal. Very important concept. If you need to find the maximum value out of all the combination when a certain value of n is given so that was all about the concept of combination again uh, briefly revising that when i say combination it means that selection only if you need to select r things out of n different things r things out of n different things where r is between 0 Greater than zero and less than equals to n, then the formula will be N C R. Very important that this formula is only applicable when n things are different. Otherwise, we have separate methods that I will let you know in the upcoming lessons. Thank you.